Last time on Kubia Bridge? Well, not exactly last time. <laughs> Shut up, I'm telling the story this time. Last time I wanted to have a skew. No, you didn't. <laughs> I wanted a skew for the kids. And it was so beautiful having a legitical reason for booting the camping kids out of the house for eight hours a day. But then I missed the chip guy shoot him. That big mean creep wrecked everything. Well, <laughs> ain't you dead yet? Oh. Well, no, not really. I'ma fix that. <laughs> We's taking another kick at the academical cat. The DDD Academy is back for round two. miserably at your pre-kindergarten math, you clearly need something a little more challenging. So I've moved you all straight to advanced algebraic equations. <laughs> Still not enough of a challenge, huh? Okie dokie, trigonometry it is. With your method, you'd have better luck teaching an apple to rot. Maybe I just haven't found the right class. Oh, I knew I should have taken that short bus full of Asian hamsters. Hell yeah, an excuse to cut class. Sweet, let's go play hockey. For the last time, it's hooky. Quit being such a Canadian. Five minutes later, back at the castle. Don, now what you want? I want another school to teach them nasty brats how to behave right. You're trying to squatting again? What the heck is wrong with you? The only reason that academically flopped was because you said you said creepy Mr. Chip. All he taught the kids was how to get away with murder. You sure I can't teach us to an teenage monster hunter instead? He's not just like Joey Weaver. Nah, let's just keep delaying his appearance for no reason. Send me another school, dang it. Oh, fine. But on one condition, you got to take in these guys too. They're my, um, nephews. Yes, nephews, that's right. Wait, why do we gotta take them? Because they are a trio of poor misguided souls who need a firm, loving hand to help them find their way in life. And I'm tired of hiding them at my house. Ching chong chow, Big D! Huh, typical sales guy. He drops off a bunch of convicts for us to babysit and he doesn't even tell us what their names are. But I'll just stand there looking deaf, say something! Kiss it, dipshit! You ain't the boss of us, asshole. Save the pleasant trees for later, guys. Show some respect. These are my bros, Dirk, Kirk, and I'm Smirk, bitch. This bitch happens to be the king, and remember your contracts. You're on a kid's show. Hey, him. I also happen to be the principal of your new school. Fuck you. you. So the best you can do is pie throwing? You're two episodes too late for that one, guys. No! I suddenly prefer the pie. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's check out our new shithole. Damn! You sure hope the academy's built better than this shit shack. Nah, need fucking shit beyond hope. Those little hooligans belong in a correctional institute! Yeah, oh, they're so cute. Now we just need a gullible sap who's willing to teach him. <laughs> you want me to be the new head teacher at DDDA2? Use the smartest smarty pants in the whole kingdom. I say go for it. Everybody else will probably be monsters. Tut, tut, tough. We want to keep things humanely human. And you can brainwash them with whatever you want. So I get to pick the schedules, curriculums, subjects, homework, and basically get to be the big kahuna? Mm-hmm, pretty much. Sign me up, Jack! Great, but could you accept to find some specialty needy kids? Let me consult with my secretary. Meta Knight, what do I do? Pfft, you're asking me? I didn't even attend high school. How can you be a Star Warrior and not have a fully state certified education? Because I wanted the fame and fortune of being a Star Warrior, and you don't need a diploma to do that. 
Don't be a fool. Stay in school. So, do I teach or... I don't care! Okay, I'll try. I'll see if I'm fit to corrupt the future of humanity or not. Five minutes later, not at the castle. Ow! Well, I did forget to powder this morning. Now, let me ask you something. Who put that cheap-ass Naruto prank in the door? <laughs> <laughs> I know you three. <clears throat> Come on in, guys! Allow me to introduce our completely unnecessary faculty. We have the misters, alchemy, prehistory, philosophical re-education, Third Reich Grammar, and Miss Artsy Fartsy. Though I don't know why they're here, seeing as I'll be doing everything myself. Please welcome them! Cease and desist! <laughs> Kirk, as a punishment, you'll write a 10,000 word essay about fingernail cuticles. Bit you serious? And Dirk, you shall write a 100,000 word essay on Kirk writing about fingernail cuticles. Fuck no! <laughs> you ain't getting us to write nothing, princess. Yeah! Why don't we just write a bunch of shit we just strewn? Because that would be too easy. Now sit down and shut up. Sure thing. But bro, we swear we never listen to no kids. Chill, bros. Remember, we gotta blend in. Besides, I think she's on to us. Okay, class. We're going to start our math lesson with some simply incomprehensible quadrilateral equations. And after that, we can move on to... Ow! <laughs> Tiff, I recognize those guys, aren't they? Yeah, they are. But there's only three of them. Yeah, but keep mum about it, okay? <laughs> Dirk, show me your filthy soul. <laughs> Both of them. Kirk. Yeah, yeah. And Smirk. Read him and weep, teach. Ain't none of us can fit into that dinky shoe. <laughs> I hear filthy murderers. Well, somebody lost a shoe and I gained an eBay auction. Thank you. So, teach, you gonna give us the books? Or do we just gotta guess at this? Oh, oops, I forgot. Here are your diamond-laced standard issue up-to-date math books for this month that we're going to replace tomorrow. I come bearing knowledge. Please don't wedgie me. <laughs> and so the obtuse angle of the hypotenuse cannot be equal to pi. Now! Books up now! <laughs> okay, tough. What's the fractional formula of huh? pi? Oh, uh, uh, hmm, uh, one part flour and three parts sugar? Class, pay no attention to my nincompoop brother. To formulate the fractional equivalent of Arithmetic pi, Arithmetic education is truly a necessity of life. Circles. For without and knowledge, we are truly powerless in the face of adversity. Herbie, get that gum off your head this instant! But alas, I be a puppet that slaves to the winds of the puppeteer. <laughs> <laughs> Hermy, you better have enough gun for everybody! Sure! Ah! Look who's playing hockey! Sire, it's Hooky. Quit being such a Canadian. This is going straight on to the mid morning news tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, still got any of that gum on you, Kirby? And now a news update from channel DDD. Our top story tonight, a local dog chased a local cat over a local fence. But first, a seventh grade girl teaches third graders 12th grade math and ends in a grade A flop. Here's what the defendant had to say. I Now back to our studio. Here's what a local king had to say about this local mess. Let the locals handle it. Here's what one of the local teachers had to say. So what's your local opinion on this whole local thing? Oh, well, um... And there you have it, folks. Looks like our local town's love for local teaching is about to end in local heartbreak. Hey! They didn't even mention the rock stars that caused this whole mess! You've got the rock stars at your school? Where do I sign up? Dad, you freak! That's not the point! Never mind you, Mom! Well, at least now that we know the identity of those three boys at your school, I'll have something to chat about with my friends. Uh, whoops. No, 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 and double whip frappuccino, no. You think after all this shiznit you've put me through that you can just strut up in here and ask me to teach you self-defense? It ain't gonna freaking happen. Like, really, who do you think you are? The president? The pope? Somebody of some self-imposed importance that I should care about? Really? No! Will you do it if I give you a prepaid Xbox Live card for $500? 
<laughs> no. How about the keys to a city? No. How about a pre-release demo of World of Tanks for Xbox One? <sighs> Fine. As long as you supply everything else that you previously stated in the agreement, I will teach you. Okie dokie, now on to the Rocky Balboa montage. I don't know what I've been told. Cappy folks are mighty cold. One, two, three, four. Private Blondie, is that all you got? I've seen more enthusiasm at a SEAL clubbing convention. Like, come on, get with the program. Get the let out. I've seen my dead grandma run faster than you in her coffin, maggot. But I'm a girl. There are no girls in the army. There's just men and girls who think they are men that look like men. Five minutes later, not at the castle. Hell, Mom, stop fussing with my hair. I want to look nice for the rock band. But you're a boy, sweetie. Mommy, let me go. I want to see the beefcake. Not yeah. until you promise you'll snip one of their socks for me. How, how'd they find out? And so now that the whole town knows you guys are secretly rock stars, can I please have an autograph before you pummel me? Not till you tell us who's squealed. That's bad. So much for living our lives is peaceful. Teenage delinquents. We came to the cesspool, hoping to get away from all you damn paparazzis. I'm back! The curse of Kirby Bridge, I'm gone! Since the tortures of school haven't killed your appetites yet, I'll be serving you a standard Japanese anime curry. The food that looks yummy, but tastes crummy. Aww. It's easy to draw, too. I'm gonna keep my eyes closed for this. But Kirk's right there. He might spike the food. Silly children! Temperamental musicians are harmless! Well, it's better than eating my own shorts! Hello, 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 and welcome to the show! So I told you, I had the weirdest experience for the world that last week! <laughs> and I told Buggy to make sure he told him the walnut skit! You are an evil genius. Tiv! Tell the rock stars you want to be their groupie. Maybe they'll let us tour with them. Well, looky here. It's the little blondie that blundered. It was you who told everybody about us. That's a paddling. No, but I'm about to tell them a lot more about you. Tell me it's good to has got a mouse on her, huh? If you think you can waltz in on my turf and steal away my students, you're dead fucking wrong. There ain't nothing you could know about us that would. Jerk. <laughs> So, was it you who told everybody about this? Oh, I've been following you guys' court case for a while now, but it was Kirk who provided the proof. Uh, you You guys said you all had big feet, so then how did Kirk get his hands on that tiny little shoe? It originally belonged to the fourth member of your band, the one you three murdered. Jerk! Uh, no! Don't cheer, even if I do deserve it. But Tiff, you didn't need to knock him out cold. You totally had a choice. Maybe, but teachers are supposed to solve problems with their heads, not their hands. But when little shit heads like this wander into your class, you can't just take it lying down. I just wish I knew a way to hammer some respect into even those three guys. To help them realize that with some book learning, they could have disposed of their fourth band member so much more easily. When you get straight A's in school, it's probably because you're missing something really great and never even realizing it. But at least you won't end up with a dead-end job at McDeedy's. The most important role of a teacher is to instill totalitarian fear into the little halfwits. To show them how wasting their lives with academic study is truly the path to success. Except for philosophy. Nobody wants to hear you ask, why do you want fries with that? Promise me that you will all never stop trying to learn new things and that the teacher is blameless. Promise! Uh, Tiff, you killed those guys. Um, okay everybody, time for an impromptu field trip. Extra credit for shovel bearers. I've never used a shovel before. And shouldn't we turn you over to the police or something? Learn new things and the teacher is blameless! Five minutes later, back at the castle. Well, that's young person in a burlap sack full of cans in the Mississippi. Again. Seems I accidentally registered DDD Academy as a juvie institute instead of a junior high. <laughs> Whoops. I'm gonna give you five seconds to run. 
Hey, thanks for watching Kirby Abridged Episode 24. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more Kirby's shenanigans. Also, leave a like for this video. It really helps us out a lot. We'd also like to thank Trunk Lid Productions for his great help in voicing the three bullies. Or rock stars or whoever they are. Huh, I wonder what our next episode's gonna be. Hello, darlings. Oh, spirits, no!